Hello, my name is Azim. I am a painter. I come from India. I have been doing art from over a decade and a half. Most of my paintings are inspired from mountains, from water bodies, its people, streets, folk art and culture, traditions and historical sites. So nine years ago in 2013, I got a scholarship to come to the city of Hangzhou to pursue master's degree in oil painting at Chen Academy of Art. My classmates were all Chinese, so being the only foreigner in the class was an amazing and unique experience. All the classes were in Chinese, and even though my Chinese was very bad, my classmates really made it easy for me. The study experience that time really reshaped my skills and my knowledge of art. For me, the most amazing experience was our three-week field trips to the countryside every year. In 2014, my first such a trip was to a village Shangrao Yanshan in Changshi province. One would easily get mesmerized by the essence and the beauty of the local streets. The lanes were bustling with the people busy doing their day-to-day -day work. The architecture of the old houses is so well preserved. They are astonishing, neat and clean and comfortable. At the end of the trip, I made several paintings, reminiscence of ancient streets, exploration of old houses, and that beautiful mountain that contains my fond memories of this trip to the countryside. I would say the journey is over, but the place has really left a beautiful spot in my heart forever. Other field trips like those also left me with a refreshing impression on China's rural life. To my experience, even a small village in China have almost every facility available. These villages are very neat and clean, have full access to water and electricity and internet. I know these are truly amazing achievements that couldn't be done overnight. And after I graduated in 2017, I decided not to go back and started teaching at Hangzhou vocational school for arts. The environment in the school is amazing. Students are very polite and helpful. In the classroom, they create amazing artworks. They are fast learners, possess incredible skill and creativity. Here at school, I also learn a word called Xiang Tu Jiao Yu, literally means ruler education. It's a form of education that provides students information about art and history of their local hometown with the aim of deepening their knowledge, recognition and pride in their local history and culture. I found many of my students were interested in those courses and they use their knowledge to create some wonderful artworks. For me, this trend of rediscovering the beauty of rural areas is a reflection of greater economic, cultural and social development of China in recent years. Ten years ago, nearly 100 million Chinese were living below poverty line. But by 2021, China has lifted all those rural residents living below poverty line, declaring the elimination of absolute poverty in the country. 今天,贵州宣布最后九个深度贫困县退出贫困县序列,这不仅标志着贵州省六十六个贫困县实现了整体脱贫,这也标志着国务院扶贫办确定的全国八百三十二个贫困县全部脱贫摘帽。As I walked on my painting trips in rural China, I witnessed how country's success in removing poverty brings energy and hope to its rural areas. But it doesn't stop there as the government puts its plan of common prosperity into reality, the goal to achieve revitalization of rural areas was given a prominent position. I bet there will be more people going to the rural area looking for new opportunities. To me, China, especially its rural areas, are such a wonderful place that brings me endless inspiration as an artist. I am hoping to use my brush to tell more stories of China and bring them back to share with my community in India.